Okay, regarding these three type of uh, digital image, okay, binary image or black and white image, grayscale image, and um, color image, which is RGB, RGB uh, color image. Okay, let's we discuss a little bit more about it. Okay, why they call it this one binary image is because you can see that the image is only represent by two numbers. It can be either zero or one where zero represent the black okay again uh, this number inside the image itself okay image itself is a is a metric representation where the element inside the image or the numbers inside the matrix itself will represent will, will represent the color of the image so that's that's why in uh, for example in binary image it consists only zero and one that's why they call it binary image or black and white image because um, uh, the zero and one element inside this matrix will be represent the zero will represent the black while one represent white so that's why another name for binary image is called black and white image and why they call it a binary image as you can see it consists only zero and one that's why they call it binary image while for the grayscale it's consi it consists of main uh, range some range of numbers okay and in general in your computer the standard uh, grayscale format is 8 bit okay what 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 i mean is 8 bit per uh, 8 bit per pixels it means that the, the numbers range for each uh, for element inside the matrix uh, the range of the number can be from 0 to 255 okay if you talk about from 0 to 255 if you represent it in a binary it's actually from uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, which is 8 bit. Okay, that's why they call it 8 bit per pixel, the, the size. Okay, and then for color image, it also consists of, for each element is 8 bit, but because you have a 3 channels, if you total up that 3 channel, 8 times 3 is 24 bits. Okay, so uh, let's discuss about this thing in in, uh, in this uh, whiteboard. I would like to explain it in this whiteboard. Okay, assume this is the matrix. I just draw it back in a three d in three d uh, shape. Okay, this is one you consider as a one channel uh, image. Okay, you this one can be um, can be your binary image. Okay, binary or your grayscale. Okay. So it's a single channel image. So similar to what we discussed in this slide there. Okay, we have only one channels, meaning that one channel or one layer. Okay, again each box, small box here is your pixel. Okay, this is called pixel. While the, the element inside or the numbers inside the pixel will represent the color. Okay, again if you do, if the the numbers inside here, okay, inside this one if the range is if you only have two possible uh, numbers which is 0 or 1 then you call it as a binary image okay binary image or black and white image okay because it because you only have two colors there black and white 0 or 1 but if the element inside this um, matrix here or inside this box here have some range of numbers which is more than uh, 0 and 1 you can have more, for example 0 to uh, 255 then you call that as a grayscale image okay why we choose uh, 0 to 255 actually that is a standard inside your computer if you save any image inside your computer I mean in the grayscale format uh, you will get uh, this kind of format okay another format another name for this is um, they call it also because the size of each okay the size of each uh, color or each intensity value inside this pixel is 8 bit okay 8 bits per pixels so 8 bit is from okay if you talk about 8 bit it should be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and it up to 1 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 so this is your zero this is your 255 so that's why the range is to from 0 to 255 only okay but you can have um other possible as well okay for example image in 
um, I think it's CT scan okay CT scan you have um, 16 bit image okay 16 the, the size still grayscale okay for CT scan but the 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 what we call here okay the, this size actually what we call is a intensity intensity resolution okay intensity resolution so the intensity resolution for uh, for CT scan is 16 bits meaning the color can uh, start from 0 to 64k okay if you talk about 16 bit but of course the, the color is still a grayscale color means that 0 will represent your white uh, I'm sorry for, for black and then the highest number which is 64k will represent your white meaning any value in between this range can be you know the the the, the, the gray color will increase the intensities from 0 to 64k the same goes to this format okay from 0 to 255 this one is black and this one is white but let's say you have 100 100 can be some color which is between black and white means that some gray value where the gray value have uh, some highest intensity as compared to for example 50 okay 50 also gray 100 also gray but the gray in 100 is uh, is more uh, lighter than than the gray in 50 so th that's how the the gray scales uh, range the color okay so it is different from color image okay for color image it's a three is a three channel a three channel image where the first layer here okay this is the example of rgb uh, structure where the first channel of the first layer here is your r and the second one is your g and the third one is your b so which that is why some that which is why in this slide okay why they use a 24 bit per pixels is because one channel here it's like your grayscale it can be go up from 0 to 255 okay meaning that it's 8 bits and this one also go from 0 to 255 which is 8 bit and this is also can from 0 to go from 0 to 255 which is 8 bit so means the total bits there is a 24 okay total total bits there so that's why they also another another the size of the intensity resolution for color image as in the slide there is a 24 bit per pixels okay that is the, the difference there but of course if you talk about the color image uh, the the value from 0 to 255 represent how strong the the channel element inside the image for example if you talk about the red 255 if the pixel here had got r value equal to 255 meaning the red element is very strong it's a maximum component it's a maximum value where uh, the, the red component element is very strong in contributing of producing that color image of course you will have combination value between R, G and B to produce uh, many colors there okay that is different from the grayscale the grayscale only have uh, some one color where the, the, the minimum one zero is black the highest one is white and then you have a gray which a different a gray uh, you have a gray, gray which a different uh, intensity where that intensity is depend on the value of the 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 value of the the the, the numbers inside the matrix element so meaning is that uh, if 100 like this one you will you will got the gray where the gray is lighter than the the numbers 50 okay that is the difference there okay we're gonna talk later uh, more about this uh, what we call as a um, uh, in, in the next lecture we will talk about what is a special resolution intensity resolution actually this is what i discuss here is related to that okay okay <clears throat> so um what is digital image processing so digital image processing the purpose of this courses is actually the, the digital image processing itself is focused on two major tasks the first one is to 
you know (uh) the purpose of digital image processing is to improve the pictorial information okay to improvement of pictorial information for human interpretation and the second one is processing of image data for storage transmission and representation for autonomous machine perception okay so (uh) this is the main purpose of two main purpose of (uh) learning image processing okay the first one okay this is the one that we cover a lot where we you later you will learn about the image enhancement image restoration actually that kind of approach we want to you know improve the 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 appearance of the image okay meaning that for example you know again like I said in the previous lectures when you have a defect in your hardware when the your hardware have uh, limitation you you capture the image and the image you obtain is not in a quality a good quality so if you it's very difficult for the radiologist for example if you talk about biomedical application very difficult for by radiologist to you know take not something so that is where the image processing help where by using the approach or the mathematic equation related to the image processing you implement you implemented that formula using any kind of algorithms any kind of programming language you are processing the image and you are you know improve the image in terms of you can remove some noise or you can remove un, un, uh, unmeaningful information inside the 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 image and you just retain the meaningful information where it help a lot in in you know diagnose something by the radiologist okay and then the second part there okay another uh, purpose of image processing of course uh, uh, because uh, that one is not covered in in your syllabus okay one of the chapter inside the image processing talk textbook is called image compression okay but we don't cover that okay that is um, uh, the, the good things about uh, image processing uh, course okay one of the approach that it cover is a uh, image compression where you don't learn in your course where actually you, of course you see image is very big it's a very big uh, size but of course when there's a certain algorithm inside your image could help you uh, compress the image and still retain the quality of the image for example um, you can just uh, do this for example you save some image in bitmap format and you save it on the same image in jpeg format and then you see the, the space there okay of for sure the bitmap format uh, consists uh, very big size okay it's occupy a big size in your memory space while the jpeg is very little so but the quality is similar so uh, why is this that happen is because jpeg is actually the the same source of image but applying a compression technique and then from that compression technique you will are producing the jpeg format but the bitmap actually is a raw data bitmap format image bitmap image format only save the raw data that's why the original size of the image you can refer to the bitmap but the one have been compressed if you save in jpeg that is actually a prod production of uh, compression algorithms okay and then of course the second part uh, in second part also talk about how image processing help a lot in uh, in 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 uh, one of the elements inside the autonomous machine perception again that's why i said in in the previous lectures image processing is always related to artificial intelligence because the whole system itself is called autonomous machine perception meaning that you have an intelligent machine where uh, we we just depend on ai is not enough so that's why if you want to do something that related to image where there is actually is autonomous system then the brain is the ai but the image processing is like your artificial eyes okay like your like human human have the eyes to see and then the brain is to interpret the the what have you have been seen by the human so i can consider eyes as your image processing while the brain is your artificial intelligence okay so the whole system here is called computer vision Okay, the combination between AI and um, image processing is called computer vision. I think next um, next lectures I will share that things. What is the difference between image processing, computer vision, and uh, other other element inside 
inside the the image processing part okay there's actually there's one family is that okay so so that's why in, in this statement there there's a some argument uh, about where image processing and and feel such as image analysis and computer vision start okay we will i will explain that in the next uh, lectures okay you just skip that this slide first i will try to explain uh, in the next lectures okay just skip this part i will i will continue back letters okay okay for the history you can try to read by yourself how 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 actually the progress in the, about the digital image processing uh, start from the early uh, 1920s okay this is you can read this one by yourself okay i just want to give some example of image processing application again one of the chapter here that you will learn after this is image enhancement so this is an example of applying the image enhancement as you can see in biomedical like here this one this picture this is a chest x-ray image by applying the image enhancement you can see you can highlight or you can emphasize the strength of the 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 ribs there okay the one that cannot be seen okay may, might be because of your uh, the limitation of your x-ray system where you obtain a very bad image where you cannot see the 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 ribs behind the lungs there but by applying the image processing you can enhance the strength and you, later you can see the the output there can you can see clearly that the the the, the, the ribs behind the, the lungs there okay same goes to other applications so that's why i said before we don't don't just scope yourself in biomedical application when we talk about the image processing a lot of feel a lot of application can be done in by using image processing which is why even in utm we have many business group related to image processing we have uh, we have uh, image processing in uh, biomedical school school of biomedicals we also have uh, image processing in uh, school of reticle and we also have uh, one in a school of computing and another one is from remote sensing okay so you can see that image processing itself can be put in many school because a different school have their, their, their own different application for image processing so that's why for our case we more focus on this one which is x-ray image or um, biomedical image and this one might be close to your 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 neighbor which is school of school of electrical engineering and and even uh, if you talk about my background okay i forgot to mention that i'm also my my degree and master is from electrical engineering so image processing i learned since my fyp okay, okay? i start my image processing uh, study since my final year project in okay my final year project i i forget to show to you that my final year project is there later i will show that okay uh, and then master also i doing the image processing page also i'm doing a image, image processing okay uh, okay you can see this one okay this one is look like uh, image from the uav which is close to remote sensing okay uh, remote sensing faculty of uh, i think i forget the name the new names okay but it's a remote sensing not not in faculty of engineering where they also have a image processing where they apply for um for for do, do some mapping okay by using the uav and then they they also implement the image processing where you of, of course if you talk about the uh, about the uh, area view there's a cloud okay there's a things that makes make you cannot see the ground so by using image processing you can improve the image and you can remove the cloud okay okay this is another application for biome nickels okay this is the example of uh, mri image from the dog heart by applying the okay this one is not image announcement this is called uh, age detection where you highlight the age of the uh, the age of the heart okay so that is also uh, in, inside the image processing uh, okay this is the same uh, application uh, which is belong to remote sensing where they you they, they apply a gis system they want to see the earth from the satellite and then of course uh, the camera of course the camera is very far from the earth 
so it's very difficult to see the ground so by applying the image processing it it help a lot in 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 uh, remote sensing application okay the industrial inspection this one can be considered okay for example these are pharmaceuticals there okay this one consider can consider as uh, biomedicals and, and for pcb infection can be come from the school of reticles so you can see if you park yourself in general image processing okay you can work in many application you want okay it, okay it's, it's a very limitless you don't have to just focus on medical imaging but if you have a knowledge in general image processing you can also work in many field if you go to the remote sensing you can also work with them okay if you go to the ethical school you can also work with them because they are they have a similar channel between us okay okay again this is a pcb inspection uh, this one is a uh, more to uh, application related to surveillance security and surveillance system and this one uh, school of computing also have one electrical also have one and even uh, before i joined a uh, biomedical i belong to that research group okay where we try to you know apply the image processing for security and surveillance system we have uh, we need to recognize the fleet numbers and then you apply the in, in biometrics you you want to you know identify the the person from the thumbprints there okay uh, also okay this one is belong to computing okay they're using image processing for hci which is human computer interaction okay now they i think now today you are you also have uh, one technology from the microsoft which is called kinex where you can you know do some waving there then you can you know uh, can replace your mouse meaning that you can instruct the computer or interact with the computer just by using the gesture but uh before that technology happened this is the movie where every old uh, old school people look all uh, old people's uh, old school people watch which is called a minority report okay at that time we don't have any kinex technology so that's why it's very you know a very wow wow factors there when you have some system where you can control by gesture in where we actually can replace the mouse okay it's very good it's very good things there okay actually that is also the contribution of image processing of course not just image processing where that should be integrated as well as your artificial intelligence okay so this is the key stage in uh, digital image processing like i said before each and every box here represent the chapters the, the difference is just uh, we will cover the image enhancement we will cover the image restoration we will we, we'll cover as well segmentation and morphological processing about this box okay in our chapter this one should be the last chapter this one should be the second last chapter which is both will taught by dr tan but however in this flow you can see uh, why the morphological is before the segmentation but uh, in our chapter in our syllabus we put the segmentation uh, first before before that uh, after that we we implement the morphological process actually uh, in in some textbook it's not some textbook in image processing you can do the morphological or segmentation in in any order meaning that you can do segmentation first uh, before you do doing the morphological or you can do the morphological first uh, before you doing segmentation but in our syllabus we swap that meaning that uh, you, you do do the segmentation and then after that you do the morphologicals okay so of course the image equalization is about just changing the analog signal from the environment into digital image so of course that is done by your digital camera your x-ray machine your ct scan where each and every model uh, imaging modality here for sure have a ccd sensor or cmos sensor that will do that and then we do some image enhancement the next chapter where we we will try to improve the appearance of the image subjectively okay that is uh, the, the term subjectively you need to remember that is the difference between image enhancement and image restoration okay the purpose is similar to enhance the image or to 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 improve the grade or the quality of the image but the difference between enhancement sorry enhancement and restoration is that enhancement is a subjective approach while uh, the restoration is a very systematic and objective approach 
before we go for segmentation as well of as well as um, morphological uh, of course we, we don't cover the object recognition and representation because this one actually is now is going towards if you have this block and this block now you are already a, uh, a chief where actually uh, the, the the bridging this block actually is a bridging between the image processing and ai okay at the end part you have you you integrate with ai then you it will become an autonomous or machine autom autonomous system but uh, if you talk about the image processing itself it's only end up in this segmentation or morphological okay in, like in our syllabus and the one that we don't cover okay you can see the change there the one is not in, inside this chain is two these two things okay one is um, color image processing and the one is image compression like i said before we don't cover image compression and we also don't ca cover the color image processing because most of the you can refer to many textbook most of them focus more on uh, by default when you, you learn later you will see a lot of example or a lot of technique we do we do it in a grayscale or binary image okay so it's very little or a few peoples or a few approach they use the color image because color image is very heavy and it's very uh, bad thing to do that especially it will you know producing a expensive compet competitional it's very competitionally expensive to do something in color image okay so that is the summary of this uh, video lectures so later we will continue back our discussion in i think next tuesday okay but if you don't if you want to change the class we can discuss in our research group okay